I'd like to show you guys how I'm controlling my diode laser fumes using an enclosure and an inline duct fan. If you've done any kind of laser engraving or laser cutting, you know how important ventilation is for your setup. For my setup, I'm using the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt diode laser, and I'll talk more about the enclosure and ventilation in a minute. My diode laser arrived about two months ago, and just like everyone who gets their first laser, the first thing I did was try out a few simple cuts on thin plywood without thinking about where the smoke would go. What I found out was that this laser had the power to flood my entire garage with laser exhaust in a matter of minutes. I thought it was kind of weird because I saw so many garage dwellers on YouTube firing their lasers without using protection. I was about three sample cuts in before I decided I needed to get an enclosure for my diode laser if I was going to use it for any serious project. I hopped on Jeff's humble little online trading post and bought an enclosure that had the same logo as my shiny new laser. After I got it set up and tried a few test cuts, I realized that the enclosure was a step in the right direction, but it still needed some more mods to be really useful. The enclosure came with one of those small little computer case fans, but it definitely couldn't suck, and I needed something that was going to suck more. I tried upgrading to this 100 CFM exhaust fan, and it sucked, but it didn't suck quite as much as I wanted it to. Then I tried upgrading to this 200 CFM fan, and I was pretty satisfied with how much it could suck. One of the things that I like about it is that it has a speed control knob thing, but to be fair, I'm pretty much always using it on the max settings. Maybe you can use a lower setting if you're just doing some light engraving or something. The exhaust ports on the enclosure are three inches in diameter, and since the 200 CFM fan uses a four inch intake, I had to add a few couplers to connect the exhaust port to the fan intake. I ran the exhaust from the fan to a four inch vented exhaust pipe. I used a jigsaw to cut a hole in my garage to the outside world. I decided to add a 4 inch blast gate between the exhaust fan and the exterior vent. I like using the blast gate because it keeps the cold draft from the outside from coming into my garage when I'm not using the laser. And then finally the laser fumes leave my garage and into nature. Look I know what you're going to say about the dangling vent masking tape situation and I guarantee you that the fan will get mounted to the wall one day. I just don't really know when that one day will be. By the way, if you want to see any of the products that I'm talking about, my Amazon affiliate links are in the description below, and clicking on a link really helps support my channel. The one thing I'd like to do is show you how much smoke the fan can extract. So what I'll do is a five minute test cut on three millimeter plywood and let the smoke collect in the enclosure with the fan turned off. After the test cut's done, I'll turn on the fan and show you how much smoke can get sucked out. Okay, I've gone ahead and started the test cut without the fan running. About 30 seconds into the test cut, you can already start to see smoke coming out from the bottom of the enclosure. Around three minutes into the test cut, my garage started to smell pretty bad. I went ahead and cracked the door to get some ventilation going so I wouldn't have to breathe as much smoke. Okay, the five minute test cut is finally done, so I'll go ahead and turn on the fan. I'd say that it took about less than a minute to clear out the smoke from the enclosure, but I will say that the entire garage does still smell and it's probably going to take about 30 minutes to an hour to actually vent out all the fumes uh, from the garage. One of the main drawbacks to these entry-level enclosures is that they're not actually completely enclosed. I do have a few wires running under the bottom of the enclosure right now, but that was for the convenience of lifting the enclosure a few times for this video. Even when you run cables from the laser through the cable slots on the side of the enclosure, there will still be an air gap at the bottom of the enclosure that smoke can escape from. So when I'm using the enclosure and the fan in normal circumstances, I don't really ever have to worry about this. Uh, all the smoke just gets sent right outside and I can sit next to the laser while it's working no problem. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with this setup for the price. If you're gonna be doing any cutting with your diode laser, you really need some kind of enclosure and ventilation like this. The main drawback with this enclosure is the fact that it's open on the bottom. If I ever decide to upgrade this enclosure, I'm going to get one that completely encloses the laser. Well, that's really all I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully you found this useful and happy lasering.